Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about keep it simple, how to clean your yoga mat. For those of you who are yoga enthusiasts like myself, you know that your yoga mat is the main piece of equipment you'll always be needing, but that guy can get pretty funky after weeks, months, and literally years of use and love from your feet. So we're going to make sure that you know how to take care of your yoga mat, how to extend its life and treat it properly without ever compromising the fiber that it's made out of. Now everybody's yoga mat from different companies, different era even might be made of something different uh, but typically they're about an eighth of an inch thick um, and they're made out of a rubberized foam type substance uh, remember that when you first get a yoga mat they are treated to look nice and shiny but that nice shiny sheen that's on your mat means slippery hands and feet for you so sorry to tell you but the very first thing you're going to need to do to your brand new yoga mat is dry scrub it you simply take any kind of cloth this is just an old hand towel that I now use as a rag. I don't apply any kind of uh, agent to it and I dry scrub the area where my hands and feet will be. So that's this whole region right here and then at the back of my mat too. Now when I start to dry scrub, what I'm literally doing is I'm rubbing away that top layer of that uh, shiny substance that allows the mat to have that pretty uh, brand new look but which under the heat of my hands and feet causes me to slide. You'll know you've done it when you can look at your mat and literally see that the area that you scrubbed has a mat, M-A-T-T-E, finish. That's how you know you've removed that top layer of the slick stuff. Now you're not trying to eat away at your mat. You're just removing the treatment that's put on the top of the mat. That's the first thing you have to do and that has to be both at the front and the foot of your mat where your hands and feet will go. Next thing you'll want to do is maintain it. Uh, when you're using your yoga mat, you're going to want to always use the same side down until you wash it the next time. Now mine, this is a gift from a wonderful student who uh, gave me a mat with a gorgeous pattern. You could tell I like the colors. Uh, and this clearly has a front and a back side where there's no pattern. So I always know that this is the top, uh, the front essentially, and I'm going to keep this side up so that I know which side is dirty. I know that this side hasn't touched the floor, uh, any kind of uh, grit or nastiness that might be on the surface wherever I'm practicing. So when I roll it up, I always roll it up so that the same side is face up. And then after I wash it, I can switch it back and forth is fine. Um, but that's the next thing I do is I try to always have it same side up so that I know this side is clean or as clean as can be. Um, after I use it, about every third time or so, I like to wipe it down. Now, I've actually been to yoga studios where they give you a little bottle that's like half this size and Kleenex. I don't know if you've ever tried to scrub a mat clean with a Kleenex. It's, it's a mess. All you do is you get shredded Kleenex everywhere. Darling, you're going to need a towel. And the product that I love is Citrasolve. It's C-I-T-R-A-S-O-L-V-E. I think, S-O-L-V-E or S-O-L-V. This is an all natural cleaner. I just put it into a water bottle, dilute it, and it comes as a concentrate. I get it all over my, um, my towel, and then I also spray it onto my mat. This is after I've used it a few times and maybe it's getting a little nasty. And then I just wipe that sucker down. Again, I'm kind of scrubbing pretty well because I want all the oils from my hands and feet to come off. Please remember, even when you walk around the yoga studio barefoot, that floor is dirty too. So as soon as you take your shoes off, anytime you step on your mat, wherever you've been walking, that's going where your face is going to be. Important to clean this sucker. So I scrub it down, and then it's critical that you leave that out to dry. Now I know if you've just been in yoga, you may need to roll it up and go home. But when you take it home, please unroll it again. Let this naturally air out. It's good for the smell and the health of the, of the uh, material, but it's also important so that the next time you put your hands on it, there's no moisture left. The last thing I like to do is about every month to two months, depending on how often I use it, is actually throw my yoga mat in the, the clothes washer. Most people don't know that you can actually wash this in a washing machine. Unless you have a very, very 16th of an inch travel yoga mat, you should be able to wash it. Now, there's a special way to do this. You're gonna need two large towels. I actually prefer beach towels. And your clothes soap whatever kind that is. Now, I'm not gonna take you into my laundry room, but I'm gonna pretend that this is my laundry, um, my washer, my washing machine. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my mat 
and the side that I've been touching the most with my feet and hands is the side I want to be exposed to the soap. So I'm going to fold this guy in half the long way with that top side facing out. So you can still see from the graphic that I'm on the top side. I'm going to put the fold down. Okay, and then I'm just going to loop him right into my wash, washing machine here. I'm just going to wrap him in a circle so that the fold side is down right into my washing machine and the open flippy ends are up. Then all I do is I set that sucker on delicate. I put in uh, about a half cup or a half the normal portion of soap because this guy isn't super dirty or at least he shouldn't be. And then I set it on cool or warm. Make sure that you never put the soap directly on your mat. It'll never come out. You want to have it in the water, not on the mat. Once this guy comes out, he's going to be soppy, soppy, drippy wet. What you're going to do is take one of your beach towels and lay them down on the ground. Lay your yoga mat on top. At this point, it doesn't matter which side is up. So he's all wet and drippy. And then lay another towel on top of the mat. So now I've got my yoga mat sandwiched between my two towels. Then I'm going to start at the end and roll this guy up. So he's being squeezed between the two towels for obvious reasons. He's going to get nice and dry. I'm rolling him up, rolling him up. And then the last little bit is to actually squish him, stomp on him a little bit with your feet to squeeze out that last bit of water. Once you get the last little bit of water out, you simply unroll this whole package, drape him over whatever you have, clothesline, Adirondack chair, maybe even just the kitchen uh, chair or the, the bar stool in your kitchen. Let him air dry, he'll be good to go in about one to two days. Don't try to use it the very same day, it'll still be too wet. Now, if you have any uh, other concerns or questions about your yoga mat, feel free to leave me questions or comments. We'll talk about it, but make sure that you clean this sucker. You do a lot of great work on your yoga mat. Keep it nice and clean and it'll serve you well.